Hey everyone, this is Daryl, a.k.a. The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today we're going over our uh, Funko Pop Vinyl um, haul, and uh, hold on, why well, we got music back here behind me, we don't need that. Um, it's not only my Funko Pops, we've got a few other things as well, uh, a couple things that's actually not from the 2017 that I picked up while I was getting the, uh, the Pops. Uh, we'll start off with, man, I got a much bigger box than I had anticipated having. But uh, here we go. We'll start off with uh, Walmart. Not real pleased with Walmart. Um, I got this one right here. It is a Spider-Man. It's the, uh, the exclusive that they come out with. But I ordered them online. And let me go ahead and show you this one as well. Because I also got the Baxter Stockman. And as you can see, they put a huge sticker on them. So with my uh, my Spider-Man, I went ahead and tried to get it off. You probably can't even see that. But it is quite, look at that. It's quite sticky. I mean, if I can hold it up like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, really, really not pleased at all with that. Not in the least. Uh, I don't. And people have been telling me, well, all you have to do is get a hair dryer and have them kind of a low setting and they'll come off pretty easily. I'm a single guy. I don't have a hair dryer. <laughs> so I was uh, only halfway jokingly saying, maybe I'll just stick it in the microwave and see if the pop will blow up or melt. And maybe that'll get the glue off of it. Any suggestions what we can do to get that sticky off of there? Someone let me know because I'm sure there's you know, probably a fairly easy way. Um, and people have told me Goo Gone. Goo Gone works for me if I have it on plastic. But if I have it on cardboard, then it will leave a stain. So someone let me know. Oh, and then Spider-Man took a dive. But we got Baxter anyway, even though, again, this sticker right here, so annoying. Why do you put a sticker on at Walmart? Why? I don't know. I don't know, but they do, they do. So anywho, but we got the Baxter anyway, so still cool as can be. Uh, I do love the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Nickelodeon, absolutely love the show. Uh, what I do like about it is it's not just for kids, they do throw a couple of adult uh, kind of jokes in there that you can pick up from other TV series and things like that, which I, I find hilarious. So really do enjoy that. Teen Titans also in Nickelodeon does the same thing, Teen Titans Go. So I think that's pretty cool. Let me slide that back just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. And then some Batman figures just took a nosedive. Oh my gosh. This this right here is going to drive me completely insane. Quid, what's going on? How are we doing? Let's see. Next is uh, one of the exclusives that, I, that was not from the event, but uh, from San Diego Comic Con. But since I was ordering something else, I figured... Let me go and get this too while I'm at it. The BAM exclusive Batgirl. I thought that was really, really cool. So I figured, well, why as is, why is well go and get that? And to be honest, I don't know what makes this exclusive. I don't know if it's just the, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Because I actually I don't know what the regular one looks like, to tell you the honest truth. I don't know if different coloring in it maybe. Uh, she's got the Batarang in her hand over there. I don't know if that makes this one. Uh, more exclusive I don't know uh, if you know the answer to that also put it in the comments and let me know let me sign that back uh, there we go there we go now I got room to, to operate with uh, and one more this might be the last pop that is not an exclusive actually I got one more that that's not an exclusive for this year uh, this right here uh, again I was at Toys R Us looking for some pops uh, and I found a Bailey. Uh, I do love WWE. Uh, Bailey, I, I think she's hilarious. Really good wrestler. So, and I found this exclusive. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to pick up that Bailey while I'm at it. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. So, uh, if you like wrestling like Bailey, check out Toys R Us. I know my local one still had, I think, four more of them. Gosh, the glare is really bad today. I hope it's picking up good on there because on here, it's not picking up real good. What's that? Jeff, what is going on, buddy? How you doing, man? You doing all right? 
How's the, how's my, uh, how are your videos coming? I still watch yours every once and again. Let's see. Um, okay. I think this might be the last one that's not, uh, as far as pops, that's not an exclusive. What is this dirty stain all over the box? Well, I've got this from um, Box Lunch, and it is the Shane Welsh, Walsh, Walsh from uh, The Walkie Dead is from last year's uh, New York Comic Con exclusive. What do they call it? The uh, Yeah, they actually do call it uh, New York Comic Con. can't see this, but there you might be able to catch a little bit of that glare there. It's quite a stain on there. Like on that. I'm sure it would just, you know, just wipe off. But I was like, why is there a stain on there? It's kind of odd. But, you know, I figured, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick that up while they had it. I kind of liked his character. That is all right. Good, man, good. How's that back doing? Because I know you heard it a while back. Is that all good again? Are you back to work and everything? Let's see. While I was at Toys R Us, I went ahead and picked up the uh, Bruce Wayne. There we go. Mr. Wayne, I presume. There we go. And I think I may have... Um, Somebody else from this one, um, from Toys R Us. Some of these, I, I, I bought them online, and I don't remember which place I got them from, to be telling you the truth. So, there we go. Uh, next, and this one makes me very sad. I actually bought this one uh, in San Diego uh, at um, Hot Topic, and they packaged them up and everything and, and uh, mailed them uh, when I packaged up all my other stuff <clears throat> from my other videos. But this one come back with a gigantic ding in it. It is T-Dog right there. And I know my buddy Kim. This is one she's looking for. And I thought maybe I could find one locally. They're out of them locally. And then I checked mine in my box. And this thing has a huge dent in it. Uh, yeah, I can't blame the people packing it. I can't blame them because I was there when they did it. They packaged it up really good. Uh, and I think maybe when uh, it was shipped... Some of the boxes, some of the packages inside might have shifted onto it. And so I can't blame them for that. It's not a big deal, but eh. Yeah, maybe I can still find another one of those somewhere. Because I really like the character on um, on TV, on The Walking Dead. Really, really good. Eisenwolf, what is going on, my friend? How you doing? Let's see. Next, I actually picked this one up in uh, San Diego also. Again, not at the con because I... We messed up and we didn't actually get tickets to the uh, to the Funko booth, which we should have done, but we didn't. And just the, just the way it was set up, we thought it was going to be easier to do, but it really wasn't. But if we get back next year, we know how to do things and we'll know how to get to the, the Funko booth. So, you know, first time there, we live, we learn, and we have a plan for next year. Um, but I picked up this one. This one, um, I believe, also was at Hot Topic, I believe. I think it was either Hot Topic or GameStop. I think Hot Topic. Pick up that Nega, Scott. There we go. Awesome looking pop. Really glad to get those. I really like that first movie. So, and I, I don't know if there's going to be another movie or not. But I uh, really enjoyed the movie. So, thought got to pick that up while I'm there. What? There we go. Uh, next, we have, um, you know what, let's go with this one. You know what, Toys R Us. I was just talking about Toys R Us. Something else I uh, picked up, got this online. It was shipped, came in good condition. So I've heard um, that Toys R Us isn't real good about packing stuff. I had no problem with the packing that they had. But I picked up this Jada Toys, there you go, the, the gold Spider-Man. There you go. I thought that looked awesome. There's the box on it. Extra special shiny edition. There we go. Very, very shiny. There you go. I thought that looked great. Had to pick that one up. What's going on, TJM? There we go. So I thought, that's pretty sweet. Why not pick that up while I was at it? It's funny, one of my best friends is a huge fan of Spidey, and he did not get that. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Uh, next, also why I was, uh, you know, let's go something else. I'll come to those later because I got two of them. 
Uh, next is, uh, gosh, I don't even know how to spell this one. This was also box lunch. I do know that. It was Musashi. Musashi? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I have not seen Westworld yet. Uh, I don't get uh, which channel was it on. Was it on uh, HBO? I think it was. So I can't watch it, doggone it. Yeah, I've got um, Amazon. I think if I pay a certain amount, I can watch everything on HBO or Showtime. And I just never have done that. But the pop looked awesome. Buying too many comic books? I'm right there with you. I am right there with you. Uh, right now, between the comics and the, the Funkos, uh, San Diego just got back. I am po. I am massively po. And there's a bunch of things I'm still trying to get. Eh. <laughs> One of the things I'm actually doing is cutting back on my weeklies now. So there you go. Gets expensive. Yes. Yes, I'm trying to cut back on my weeklies and start going uh, toward uh, more uh, older stuff. And I, I'm, I'm having trouble with it. I'm having trouble. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but next, uh, Mr. Robot. This was also at um, Box Lunch. There we go. I had the Scooby-Doo in, um, in my cart, and it went out before I could actually get it. There you go. Yeah. Like, cutting back on the new stuff, I don't think it's going to be that, that big a deal. Uh, then just trying to focus on getting some good older stuff. I, I'm slowly starting to do that. Very, very slowly. Let's see. Next is... Uh, let's go with Amazon. And we have the Supreme Leader Snoke. There we go. I think a lot of people got this one uh, when it first came out that night. Because uh, I've seen a bunch of them. And I need to actually hold up to the light and stuff to see if it glows. I don't know if it still does or not. I would hope it does. There we go. There's some of the ones that's actually coming out too. Or actually have already come out. Yeah, all these have already come out. These have already been out for a while right here. There you go. There you go. Let's put that right yonder. I'll be putting that with my six inch pops over there. What do you say, uh, TJM? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on Batman. Uh, I'm trying to get Batman and Detective, getting them going all the way back uh, from 500 to current. Um, trying to uh, get all the new 52 in both of them as well. And uh, it's, yeah, it's not as easy as, as I would like. Uh, next is Princess Leia and R2-D2. Got that two-pack right there. This was uh, GameStop, I believe. And I think my local GameStop may still have these. Which really surprised me because I figured this one right here would go really, really fast. Really, really fast. See, Action Comics is one I I have not been getting trying to um, you know, start going back with it. But as it approaches 1,000, I will be buying some of them. So, uh, as far as the actual story that's going on now, I'm not even sure what's really going on with it. Alright. And, let's go with another GameStop exclusive. It is, the oh, sticker's coming off just a smidge. It is Man Bat. This is another one that a lot of people were really wanting. And, uh, when I was down in, um, at, down in, over in, uh, San Diego... I went ahead and ordered it and had it shipped there. It's got like a, a tiny little little ding right there. Nothing too bad there. But uh, they did pretty good. There we go. I just now noticed there is a little crease right there as well. I actually do not know if they were still online or not. I'm not sure. Uh, my local ones did not have any of these left. Yeah, Man Bat looks good. I'm a huge fan of Batman the Animated Series. For me, it's my favorite animated series. I know a lot of people like... Uh, um, like my generation era, likes, uh, which one I call it? Uh, X-Men, um, one of my best friends, he loves a lot of anime. I like anime, yeah, but I'm not huge into anime. So there we go. Let's see, where's next? Oh, here's one, another one from, uh, Toys R Us. Again, this one was shipped, came in fine condition, no problems whatsoever. It is Aries. Aries. There we go. 
Awesome looking pop. I think that pop is absolutely phenomenal looking. There's the back on there. Love the Wonder Woman movie, so uh, it's like, yeah, definitely got to get that one. There we go. I think I've got a couple comics with Man Bat in it also. And next, this one was from Target, I believe. Target or was at Walmart. I can't remember which one this one was. I want to say this one was Target. And we have Interplanetary Batman. So I don't know where this comes from. I'm sure maybe it's in a comic or something. So there we go. Wonder Woman stuff is really hot. And I'll tell you one of the runs I'm trying to get and try to complete is uh, the volume one or two. I can't remember. It's in the 600s. Uh, the, uh, not that, actually it's not the 600s. It's in the 500. No, 200s. 100s and 200s. Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm getting my, my numbers mixed up. It is the um, the Adam Hughes covers. I'm trying to complete all of those as well. And then in the 600s, the... Um, Alex Garner uh, variants. Those things are awesome. Met him, Alex Garner, in San Diego. Absolutely awesome. Uh, bought some prints from him. He autographed them all, took some pictures. Awesome, awesome guy. Let's see. Next. Oh, man, where did I get this one from? Walgreens. Walgreens. We got the Red She Hulk. There we go. Red She Hulk. There we go. Future Quest. I bought a few of the issues. Not too many of them. Um, I love the old uh, old cartoon from way back in the day. So, um, I bought like the first, I think, two or three issues of it. And honestly, I have yet to read them. Uh, that and the Flintstones. That's two of them. I bought the first couple issues and I never got around to reading them. So I, I, I quit getting them because I thought I'm probably never going to read them. Next is Captain America. There we go. And this also, I believe, was Walgreens as well. And again, they ship these uh, really fast and nothing to complain about from them. Nothing at all. They did really, really good with them. I mean, I just feel like when I look at this, I just feel like I've got this Captain America already. It feels like I've gotten a few of them. Cap is your favorite hero? Mine is definitely Batman. I absolutely love Batman. And my last two of the pops, before I have a couple of other little things over here. Uh, GameStop exclusive. This is one I found really hard to find. It is the Negatron. From uh, Darkwing Duck. Absolutely love this cartoon. Uh, so much fun to watch. And I just I need to pick up uh, the other ones as well. From that series. I've seen them and I just haven't picked them up yet. Uh, Launchpad, Launchpad McQuack. Absolutely love the character. So I definitely have to check that out. Cab 100. I don't know what that one is. I don't have to read that one. I don't know. My favorite comic is, um, which am I call um, Mad Love. Absolutely love it. I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan since uh, Batman the Animated Series. And that book itself is my favorite because it tells her whole backstory and everything. My absolute favorite book. And I've said this before, I would rather have uh, the Mad Love than I would the uh, her first appearance in the comics. And I know price-wise it's a massive difference, but I would much rather have that one, the Mad Love. And the last one, and I thought this one right here is going to be absurdly difficult to find. Um, I've got two Game Stops within like a mile of me. Well, within about five miles of me. And both of them still have this one. It is the Batman Joker. There we go. Absolutely love this figure. Uh, this pop. And uh, the only one I missed that I really, really wanted was uh, the Blue Chrome Batman. I really wanted that one. And could not find it so that made me really really unhappy there's a couple other ones the um barnes and noble ones i would have liked to have gotten it, it the um the tick and uh what's the other one tick and it's right on, right on the tip of my tongue oh man what is it? oh scary glow that's two i would have really liked to have tigger would have been a third one kind of but you know the other two i really would have liked to have had
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comics and pops and action figures and statues. Yeah, again, that's why I'm broke right now from San Diego. Uh, let's see. Now, two more little things that I did pick up. I was at uh, Toys R Us and I saw this and I love these little statues. It is the DC Bombshells, the Wonder Woman, the Platinum Edition, which looks absolutely phenomenal. There we go. There we go. I think that looks awesome. You got uh, the back has got the three of them on there. I have yet to see Catwoman anywhere. I will say this. They have on eBay right now at, at the Comic-Con. They sold out before I could even get to them. It was the, uh, what do you call, the, um, they are called uh, Golden Goddesses. They have these three. They're kind of like a white, but it's got gold on them. I really want those. I only made 250 sets. So they're going for approximately 300 to a little bit more. I cannot afford to get those, and I really want them. Uh, the Pops, no, no. They, these were uh, exclusive to different stores. Uh, GameStop, uh, Target, Barnes & Noble, FYE has some, and someone else has some. I can't remember who else has them. Yeah, 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 yeah. 300 yeah, $300 for a set. I, gosh, I want them so bad, and I just can't, I can't pull the trigger on that. I almost did the other night, and I was like, I'm glad I didn't. And last but not least is from somewhere. I know where this came from. This came from uh, uh, Box Lunch. It is, it says there right there. <laughs> I was totally not even looking over here. I was looking on this side. The box launch it is the red, white, and blue Harley. There we go. So this works in really good with all my other Harleys I have. Uh, who was it? Uh, someone else had, had red and black. I think Geek. I think Geek had red and black Harley. So there we go. Love the Bombshells Harley. Actually, some of the Bombshells comics are actually pretty good too, if you haven't checked that out. So that's my haul for all that stuff. Now... Chat time. What is going on, everybody? Hot hot toys. I love hot toys. Uh, we were in San Diego. We also saw, saw uh, Sideshow collectibles. Oh, my goodness. Those things are great and absurdly expensive. Hey, uh, Fish Tropic, uh, what is going on, my friend? Uh, Joker, how's it going? So, yeah, yeah. Harley 25, uh, the, the new comic. I know she's uh, the character turns 25, 25 years old. Cannot believe it's been that long since uh, Batman the Animated Series. Wow. 25 years. She's getting old, old Harley Quinn. Thanks so much, my friend. Darn it. Oh, man. Uh, Fish, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday when we do our live cast, I'm going to throw in uh, something you said on one of your videos. Okay? I'm going to throw in something that you said on one of your videos, and I cracked up laughing. I told you I was going to mention it in one of my videos. I'm going to try to remember, because I've actually got it written down in my notes to throw in there, time to light up a tampon. Try to remember to kind of slip that into the podcast and see if anyone even notices it. Because, I, you know, I told you I'd, I'd remember to do that. <laughs> I don't know why that, that line cracked me up so much, but it was hilarious. If you haven't checked, uh, most of the, I think just about most of the guys on here that's uh, in here in the room right now, check out their uh, channels. Uh, most of them have comics, pops, uh, fish. Has, dude, Fish's channel, I love watching it. Uh, he teaches how to do uh, things with different fish tanks and different things like that. Really awesome to watch. Really cool. I don't know anything about fish, but uh, his tanks are awesome. He's got a ton of them, too. Absolutely awesome. I haven't even seen what uh, Harley 25 even looks like. i got to look that up. So, what's everybody doing? Hey, you know what? Since we got a few people in here. Uh, where did I put it? It's down at the bottom. Of course, that's where it's at. Why would it be at the top? It's always going to be at the bottom. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Good dog. 
Does anyone know how to get this off the bottom with um, and be able to get the uh, the glue off of them and everything? How does anyone know how to do that? Because I, I have the I will show you. Oh, I put that in the box too. Yeah. Because this one, yeah, these came from Walmart. And it's got, and I took the, the sticker off of this one, but it's so sticky that, you know, it still sticks to my hand. How can I get that off without a, uh, a hair dryer? I don't have a hair dryer. I don't need a hair dryer. I really don't want to go buy a hair dryer for uh, two pop vinyls. Uh, TJM, where do you order yours from? <clears throat> There's one place I may start ordering some of the new stuff is uh, Midtown. Midtown Comics. That's usually a pretty good place. <laughs> Rick and Morty number one. I might have one made up just to send to you. <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says, hair dryer. And it's just, it doesn't work. I, I mean... I'm, damn, I'm I'm darn near bald over here. So. <laughs> oh, on eBay. All right, that's not too bad. Kim, what is going on, my friend? How you doing? <laughs> Honestly, the only place I've seen that that one, uh, Rick and Morty number one, is on eBay. That's the only place. Okay, Goo Liquid. Here's the thing with Goo Liquid that I have found. On plastic, like if it's, you know, if it was like on the plastic part of it, it would come right off no problem. But when I get it on cardboard, it leaves a stain. And I don't want to leave a stain on there. That's that's the biggest thing with me. I don't want to leave a, a big stain on my cardboard. Because I've got goo gone and that works really well. Ah, you want to find it out in the wild. All right. Brat, what's going on, my friend? How you doing? They're having the premiere. When does the actual show come out? Uh, the Defenders, Cam. When does that actually come out on uh, Netflix? Because I thought they were going to do like the first one in um, IMAX, I believe. Or uh, I know, or is that might be Inhumans? Might be Inhumans. One of the two. Did Did you see, Cam? Did you see my test? Look. <laughs> that did not come off without a stain. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. And my fingers are not sticky. <laughs> August 18th. Red Copper Party is tonight. There you go. Yeah, some of her uh, characters that in the new Harley stuff, I'm not a fan of at all. I mean, she's got a talking egg. And there's like, why do you have a talking egg? Thought it was next week, Kim? Mm hmm. I just don't figure see why they haven't that um that come on so soon. Oh, by the way, guys, follow me on uh Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We just started Instagram, uh, so follow us on that. And uh, after the video, I'll have a chance to uh, to put the links down below. But check some of my other videos. My last one, I know, had all the links on it. So check that out as well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good fun stuff. We do videos just about every week. Honestly, Fish, I have not even looked yet. I have not even had a chance to look. TJM, do you know what's coming out this week in the comics? Because I, I'm i still behind from San Diego trying to catch everything. Yeah, yeah, we. I'm still a week behind. Uh, if I ever need a moderator, I'll let you know. But, I mean, I, I generally don't. I guess one year, you know, when I have like 20,000 people in here, then then I will. But right now, you know, like, 
at most I think most I have, I had twelve on here a few minutes ago, but yeah, one day one day I'll have have millions and millions of people. So Harley twenty five is this week, man. I hope I can uh, get up early. Well, if I don't have to work, I can get to the shop right as it opens and be sure to get one. Nah, it's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Fish. I appreciate that. You don't have to, man. Ain't no big thing. <laughs> Ken's gonna be OG. <laughs> I like I say I haven't even looked at what's coming on coming out this week. Thirty this coming month. You know, I was gonna say that's a lot, but over the course of a month, that's that's probably less than I get over the course of a month. I'm trying to cut that number down. I really, really am. Now, if it's over the course of a week, that's too many. But over the course of a month, uh, I'll I probably run right past that. So, yeah. And I just realized it's the, uh, wow, first of the month is tomorrow. That means I got to sign up tonight for my 5K, or my four-miler, and then get everything going. Kim, I've tried Goo Gone on, on plastic and it works fine, but on cardboard it always leaves a stain. That's the that's the thing I'm worried about. I don't want it to leave a stain on there. I mean, it was a pain in the butt to get those Baxter Stockmans as it was. Yeah, I walk those events. I don't run those events. Uh, Walking Dead 170, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's one that's on my list. Um... I usually try to get the variants on those as well. Batman 28. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Did I read 27 yet? I remember 26. I don't remember 27. Damn, Superman. A lot of road races. Awesome. Yeah, I've had 47 operations. And between my hips and knees, I've had eight. So the actual jogging thing does not work for me. So me and just trying to get out there and I have these events, uh, do events. So that way it'll give me motivation to get off my fat butt. So, you know, walking, I can do when it starts coming to running, can't do it. I sure wish I could though. Cause I love being out there with the crowds. I mean, it's all, it's really a lot of fun to be out there with the groups and everything doing stuff. 47, 47 operations. Only collect, yeah. I wish I did that. Only collected books that was worth grabbing. <laughs> For me, it's like anything I can grab is worth it. <laughs> Justice League, I have not been getting that. I was born with one kidney that did not work. And because of that, I didn't uh, control my calcium like it should. And I had crooked legs. We've had to break both of them, straighten them out. Uh, hip re uh, about replaced. Uh, multiple kidney transplants. Uh, dialysis. I've had multiple catheters in my stomach for dialysis. Uh, I got my, 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 see if you can see that right there. That's where I used to do dialysis for 22 years. Uh, two kidney transplants, which my last one, Little Holly, has been working great for the last... How many years now? Uh, six years. Over six years now. Little Holly has been doing great. And yes, I named my kidney Holly. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, I, I kind of jokingly say, for those people that are a little bit older that will know this reference, the $6 million man has nothing on me. Ah, uh, it ain't nothing, man. Just, like I say, just 47 when I look out there, there's people who've had a lot worse than me, so ain't ain't no re ain't no reason to feel sad about it. Yeah. I am forty five. 
My goal, <laughs> true story, my goal for the longest time, for the longest time, has to, is to be older than my number of operations. That's a true story. And I'm getting close. I'm getting very close. <laughs> I'm right there with you, man. That, the whole age thing is, man, it catches up quick. Yeah, I still train mixed martial arts, so there you go. Got a black belt and everything to prove it. Oh, for the last, I haven't had an operation in six years. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I tell you what, since I had my kidney transplant, I guess it's prednisone that makes me crave sugar. Gosh, that, that's the part that sucks. Moss Family Adventures, how you doing? What is going on? Aren't you, did you guys do uh, a lot of Walking Dead videos, like watching Walking Dead and stuff? Moss Family? Seems like to me I remember y'all doing that. I cannot remember for sure. Chilling like a villain. Yeah, prednisone. Yeah, eat prednisone. Uh, you did one. Yeah, Walking Dead is coming back not this Sunday, but next Sunday, I believe. I think it's the following Sunday, I think. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Moss, was that the one uh, where, where Negan made his first appearance? Is that the one y'all did? Because I remember seeing somebody did when I was thinking of you guys. It may not have been. It may not have been. Preview looked great. I actually, in San Diego, I saw um, Negan and Daryl there for a quick, just, I mean, like, when I was walking by, just like a quick second, you couldn't get anywhere near them. You had to have tickets to uh, go up and to get, to get them autographed and everything, but that was it. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the only one I remember seeing, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I remember saying. Yeah, because I, I was like on the edge of my seat when that, that episode come on. And uh, my channel, they actually cut uh, uh, Chantel. They got rid of AMC. I had to go buy Sling TV so I could actually watch The Walking Dead. Jerks. That and Comic Book Man. I love watching Comic Book Man. Be sure to uh, like the video too, please. Yeah, if you haven't subbed up with me, check us out. Uh, and all my other guys on here, definitely check everybody out. Got a good group of people. Really good group. Yeah, the trash room. Yeah. Yeah. But I think uh, this season, I've had a lot of people tell me that after last season, they were going to quit. And they... Um, so this year, uh, I, if they don't come back this year, they're not coming back because I think this year will be awesome this season, not year the season. Really? We don't talk on no phones. <laughs> As I cannot wait for this season of The Walking Dead. All Out War is coming. <laughs> Can't wait. Get a little revenge. At least I hope so. I've been hearing a lot of people say that they think this might be the last year of The Walking Dead. Either this year or maybe one more after this one. Yeah, this season or next season. <laughs> what do I need your number for? <laughs> we talk every single day. <laughs> So I've I also heard people say that the uh, the comics might be coming to an end before long too. I hope not, because I look forward to that every month. <laughs> I would love for it to keep going. I mean, the TV show thing's great, and if you read the comics, they're totally different. So there you go. Excellent, guys. Thanks for subbing me. I appreciate it. How long have we been on today? Uh, 40 minutes right now. 
So if you didn't, if you guys came on to see the pop vinyl haul, uh, check it over again and everything. So you can check all that out. Walking Dead will never go. Cam, you got dubbed. I don't know how to do that. I I, I apologize for that. Was just that was horrible. That was just horrible. I I would like to apologize. That was. I would like to apologize to so everyone who knows how to dub. I don't. I would like to apologize. That was terrible. That was just terrible. <laughs> the Walking Dead books, yes. Now, if you're looking for uh, for money on them, uh, go, I would say, probably about 110, issue 110 and before. I think that's where you'll find some uh, the more expensive ones. There's a few since then that uh, have some good stuff too, but as far as you know, looking for something that might have money in them, uh, you got really got to go below, uh, really one ten. Because this year, uh, this one, uh, the Kingdom, I think those guys will really start doing something. <clears throat> Cannot wait. Cannot wait. I'm gonna have to. I mean, Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be great. Uh, which McCall is coming on? Um, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. One of the sci-fi movies. The, uh, dang. I'm trying to remember which shark movie is coming out this week. Trailer, Trailer Park Shark? Or something like that? On the sci-fi channel? I love watching those shark movies. They're so bad that they're good. Nice. Well, Cam, if you don't want them, you can ship them to me. I do love my Walking Dead. TJM, that was the, uh, I picked randomly when I first started collecting them. 100 was the one I picked to start at, and I've got from uh, 100 to current. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sheba. Ezekiel and Sheba, I got that that uh, first appearance, which I loved. I paid too much for it when it come out. Do you really have set one of the trading cards? I have not gotten any of the trading cards. I used to buy uh, back when I was younger. We did baseball cards. We had. I still have the uh, first set of um, uh, Batman trading cards. I might have uh, Batman Returns. Can't remember if it's Batman or Batman Returns. I still have. But baseball, football, basketball, growing up, that was my thing. That was my jam. Loved, loved sports. To this day, I still love sports. Tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be, uh, me and Rick's going to be back. We'll be talking uh, sports on here. Not sure what all the sports we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about those. One of the things he loves is Australian rules football, so we'll be talking about that. Oh, the football cards in the 90s, you might as well just throw that stuff in the trash. <laughs> unless unless you have the um, Emmett Smith rookie. There's a few rookie cards in there you'd want, but after that, they just printed the hell out of them. Uh, baseball cards in the 90s, I mean, most of that stuff is garbage as well. And I had a ton of it. I really started collecting in the early, uh, early mid-80s. That's when I really started collecting. So Tony Gwynn, Ryan Sandberg, uh, Wade Boggs, Don Mattingly, Daryl Strawberry, all those rookie cards I used to have. And at some point we sold all of them. Still have Daryl Strawberry's rookie card. Marvel cards, I still have some of those. Roger Clemens, rookie card signed. Uh, we met him in, uh, was it Richmond, I think. I think it was Richmond I got his autograph. Uh -huh. He looks a lot like my brother, actually. I have uh, I still have some Marvel boxes sealed, some uh, DC uh, boxes sealed. Now the Marvel ones I think are pretty good. The DC ones not quite so good. I'm actually planning on giving away if I ever reach a thousand subscribers. Considering, still, yeah, we thought about this. We might not. We don't know. But giving away a, a box of those. The um, the Fleer Flare Marvel cards are the best cards. Uh, from the 90s, those things were absolutely stunningly awesome. Now, 
Dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs. Maybe that was 90210. When that first came out, I thought that was garbage. And uh, after a while, I, I was at dialysis all the time, and all the nurses were talking about it, so I finally started watching it, got hooked on it. <laughs> got so hooked on it. Nolan Ryan, Roberto Clemente. Ah, that's somebody I'd love to have. Clemente. I would love to have, because uh, one of my, yeah, outside of like the people that was playing during, you know, when, during my youth, the one person I would love to have a card of is, um, is Jackie Robinson. Always been a huge fan. When I go to the gym, I always try to get locker number 42. I've always tried to do that. If I can't get that one, then I go to locker number three. For uh, Babe Ruth and Dale Earnhardt. Then if it's not that, then 16 and 18 for uh, Gooden and Strawberry. So there you go. I, I've got four loggers to pick from whenever I go to the gym. Uh, one dollar uh, slot hologram cards. Which ones are those, uh, Fish? I don't know which ones you're talking about there. Star Trek cards. Man, I haven't seen those in forever. Well, those are the ones like from the 70s? I remember Star Wars cards from the 70s. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, when did Star I remember seeing Star Trek. I tell you, the first non-sports ones I ever bought was Mork and Mindy. So I probably have some, you know what, I don't have it anymore, but I'm sure I had the Robin Williams rookie card. <laughs> I do not remember Star Trek cards. I remember Star Wars. I don't remember Star Trek. Oh, I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah, I remember those. Haven't seen those in forever. Mork and Mindy cartoons. I remember Mork and Mindy cartoons, but you're talking about Laverne and Shirley. I still do not remember that. I I have no recollection of that at all. I remember in the 80s they had uh, the uh, WWF, the Hulk Hogan and Friends or whatever they called it back in the 80s. I remember that cartoon. Ah, the old school shows. Uh, one of my friends, he has a huge VHS collection. And one of the things we were watching one night, and I need to find this somewhere, is Bigfoot and Wild Boy. It was a TV series that was out for a little bit. I, I used to love watching that. Rock and Wrestling Complete. <laughs> That's awesome. Mork from Mork. I did a... Uh, well, okay. I'm going to show, show you the wall of oh, oh, uh, senior and junior. Maybe you guys can see that. There we go. What I kind of lovingly refer to as my Earnhardt Shrine over there. I'm a huge fan of uh, Dale Jr., Dale Sr. It started with Sr. And when he passed away, for a while I didn't even watch NASCAR and then... Uh, you know that I became a fan of Junior. So we, uh, yeah, we're not greatest American hero, Kim. I love that show. Absolutely love that show when I was a kid. And uh, Junior's retiring this year, and my goodness, he cannot catch a break this season. I thought he might actually be able to get in the uh, in the chase this year. Man, only way he's gonna get in the chase now is if everyone just pulls over and lets him win. And that makes me so sad. You know, it's funny because when he wrecked, I didn't think twice about it because I've seen, seen those guys wreck like that, uh, you know, it seems like a thousand times. And when Senior wrecked, I mean, just, you know, just one of those things. And to this day, I, it still kills me when I, when I see that. Uh, 
uh, a senior Camaro. I have not seen that. I've seen uh, one of my, somebody I know has a Monte Carlo. They come out eighty. Man, I was gonna say like eighty six, but I think it's later than that. It might have been early nineties when that uh, Monte Carlo came out. You're fast and furious. <laughs> Fast and Furious. That's not. That's one of those movies. Uh, I watched the first, the first. Well, I actually watched the first. I think four of them, five of them, five of them. Yeah, I think The Rock was in the fifth one when they had that runway that went about two, three hundred miles long. Kind of gave up on it when they were on a, a like that runway at the end of that one. I actually was just like, I just want to get up and leave because I mean they, they're never getting off this runway. I have not seen that Camaro. That's crazy. I have not seen that. I have to look that up. Passengers was the uh, Buick Regal Grand National. I don't. G.I. Joe, I do not have. One of my best friends, though, he's got a huge collection of Joe. Huge, huge collection of G.I. Joe. Uh, G.I. Joe, old Star Wars figures and uh, like the all the, the rides and stuff. Um, it's funny. When I was a kid, uh, this is back in the 70s, I wanted the Millennium Falcon. And my mom, or my grandma, she didn't know Star Wars from anything else. So I got something from Battlestar Galactica. I was like, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> a paratrooper. Now, does that is that the old trooper you could like throw from a balcony and the parachute would open up and make him slowly go down? Because I think I used to have that one. The Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I've seen the Millennium Falcon uh, at a recent show. Memphis, what is going on, Memphis Dale? How you doing? Good to see ya. What time is it? Oh, it's only it's a little before 8 o'clock. I thought it was late. The rides. Only reason I, I really didn't get much rides is just because they were too too big. Okay. Okay. I just made like a, uh, a WW2 Airborne Soldier. Okay, I got you. Because when I was little... I don't. I don't think this was GI Joe, but they made these these little plastic figures, uh, and had a parachute on it. You could throw it out, and the parachute would catch, and it would just slowly come down. I used to love that. Like all the kids at parties would have them and stuff. It was so much fun. Yeah, Hot Toys. Man, gosh, I'd love to have the the Hot Toys. I'd love to have is that Joker. The, uh, the Jack Nicholson Joker, actually. That'd be the one I would pick first. Man, those things are expensive. The At-At? Mm-hmm. Which At-At, Eisen? Like the old figure or, or what? Oh, uh, the 70s G.I. Joe that had almost like, uh, man, man, that hair on it. it was, we used to have those. They were like the 12-inch figures, and we would shave. We shaved them and stuff. We had a whole bunch of them back in the day. I mean, that, that hair was like, like almost like a really short, nasty beard like this thing I'm growing here that I'm just too lazy to shave. That's all it is, though. That's the only reason I still I have that now. The Ad Ad Walker, yeah. Like the figure back in the day, the uh, the action figure, the ad ad back in the day that came out in, man, uh, this was after um, Empire. So it was probably 83, 82, 83, something like that. When that, that come out, I had that one. And that was awesome. And curly hair, yep. Had dog tags. I still have a uh, $6 million man around here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's around, it's around the house somewhere. 
It's the one that had the chip in his arm, but the chip is gone. So that makes me sad. It had that eye where you could look through and you know see his bionic eye. That's around here somewhere. And I used to have his um, astronaut suit too. I don't know what ever happened to that. Yeah, I wish I still had my old stuff. I used to, I told my nephew, uh, my great nephew actually, uh, when we went to a, a a show one time, he bought some figures and so I was like, keep them closed. And he's like, no, I want to play with them. And I was like, you you know, one day you're gonna say, I wish I had that stuff when I was a kid that you had when you were a kid. And he's gonna like, but didn't you play with them? I was like, yeah, and I regret it. <laughs> I was like, man, they were so good back in the day. All those good figures and everything. The Commander Cody Pop. I have not seen or heard anything about that one. Uh, Memphis Dale. I tell you what, I'm, I still want to find from uh, Walgreens is um, is Juggernaut. I mean, I assume that's already come and gone, but I, I don't think it was ever around here where I'm at. there's really not a lot of toy shows um i mean really to i think you have to go yeah, i'm in lynchburg virginia and go down to greensboro that's about a hour and a half two hour drive to go down there and, and uh find some decent toy shows or go up to around dc around that area that's a you know a few hour drive too you got all your old toys gosh lucky <laughs> Joker, I wish I had all mine, man. I mean, like, all the Star Wars stuff I had, all the figures from back in the day, man, I had so much fun with them. I wish, and I wish I had I just left them in the package because I had pretty much all of them back then. Oh, okay. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Oh. I wonder when, when when that's actually coming out. Tor Darth Vader's cape off. <laughs> now you talking about the little short plastic figures from back in the day? <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> I around here somewhere I have the uh the land speeder. Yeah, that one that's about, you know, uh about three inches long, four inches long, something like that. I still have that around here somewhere. I don't know what happened to it, though. That's another thing. It, it was around here. Early August is when it's coming out. All right. I'll be looking for Commander Cody when that comes out. Which, again, in, in, around here, I think a lot of people have a lot of problems finding stuff at, uh, at Walgreens and Target. That's the two that we really find the hardest time. Uh, two chains. No, I do not know two chains. Seems like to me I saw two chains on ESPN one day. I had no idea who he was. I will say this. I'm, I'm that guy that I don't listen to hardly anything new. Uh, I have uh, old music on my iPod. Um, I think the most recent thing I had that I added, uh, this will tell you how much I pay attention to music, was... Uh, after we went to uh, WrestleMania in uh, Miami, Flo Rida was there. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So I downloaded some uh, some Flo Rida and put on there. So that was in 2012, I think it was. Maybe 13 at the latest. So that's the last things I put on, on there. Classic rock. You know what? I just lied to you. I do have some Gaga on there. I do love my Gaga. It's funny. It's funny. I, if you look at my playlist, you're like, how do you listen to this? I got Metallica. I've got Pantera. I've got Slayer. I've got Gaga. I've got Backstreet Boys. I've got, I mean, it's like, wait, these things do not go together. They don't. They really do not. I'm a Virginia Cavalier everything fan. I do love my Wahoos. There we go. Uh, they suck in everything. Well, suck at football, and they're pretty decent at just about everything else. Uh, softball. We're not good at softball. 
baseball, tennis, lacrosse, um, what else? Uh, field hockey, you know, all those things we're really good at. Football, we stink at football. And I have to listen to all the Hokie fans tell me about how bad we are. <laughs> like, yeah, it is what it is, right? But one thing I can say to Virginia Tech fans, we have 25 national championships, I think. And Virginia Tech has won in bass fishing. I do like NFL football, but again, I pick teams that apparently suck. I'm a Detroit Lions fan. I hope your, uh, your, um, your Vikings do good. You know what? I'm a huge fan of Teddy Bridgewater, and it killed me when he got hurt. I just I thought that kid was going to be really good, and I saw uh, a few days ago that he was back on the practice field. He's and he was at least out there doing a little stuff. So I'm glad he's out there. I really like that young guy. Really good guy. So I hope he does well. Just not good enough to beat my Lions. I just want to. I want I want Green Bay to not make the playoffs. That's what I want. <laughs> A Raiders fan. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders. How hard is that going to be to say? Yeah. Oh, um, Bradford. I still can't believe this. He set a record for highest uh, complete completion percentage in a year. I blew my mind. I I would have never thought that. He would have set that record. Now I got some autographs. Oh, yeah, Derek Carr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't wait till football season. Just so uh, when me and uh, my friend Rick, we have our weekly uh, sports podcast, we'll, we'll do like good reviews of uh, weekly football stuff. That's what I'm looking forward to. That's why I really started the uh, sports uh, podcast. So I cannot wait to do that. Joker from Detroit. See, I became a, a Lions fan because they had a few of the Cavaliers all of a sudden on, that somehow just kept getting drafted there. Uh, had Jermaine Crowell, uh, Ray Roberts, uh, my favorite Herman Moore. Yeah, and uh, Don Mikowski, I think he played there for a year. I think he might have played there for longer than that, but that's when they decided to give Scott Mitchell way too much money. And they had, uh, you know, of course, the the great Barry Sanders. To, to this day, I say he was a lot better than uh, Emmitt Smith, but all my Cowboys fans, they just say, well, how many yards did he get? I was like, yeah, well, you know what? If, uh, if y'all switched teams, who would have been better? <laughs> Just watched season one of The Walking Dead. And how'd you like it? Good? Great? Horrible? Deadly? Tell you what, I didn't start watching season one until right after season three. That's when I started watching it. And I kept thinking, another zombie show? Who wants to watch that? And I got hooked on it immediately. And now I'm just sitting here going, oh, hurry up the next season, hurry up. Hurry up, I can't wait. Rick is awesome. He is. Memphis, you're heading to work already? Oh, it's late. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with us for a while, Memphis. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I played fantasy football a few years ago. I man, I had uh, one good year, then after that it's been absolutely mediocre. No, that's not true. That is not true. My first three years I made it to the championship game, and I turned into the Buffalo Bills and lost all three years. And after that, I fell off the, the face of the earth. Who is your favorite character on The Walking Dead? It was Andrea. I really liked that, her character. Um, T-Dog, I really liked him. Um, let's see. Uh, then Glenn, you know what? There, there's, a, there's a theme here. If I liked him, they died. Uh, Glenn, I was a huge fan of Glenn. Now I guess it's Maggie. I really like Maggie. 
and I have a, and so I'm hoping she sticks around a while. When I was in San Diego, I did see Daryl and uh, Negan, the actual, the people that play them, uh, Norman Reedus and man who plays Negan. I cannot, why can I th not think of his name? I've seen him in a bunch of stuff, but I cannot think of his name. So I did see them. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, one reason I don't like Daryl is because he doesn't spell his name properly. It's D-A-R-R-Y-L. Not one R, it's two R's, Daryl. Two R's. I don't have any rare ones, uh, Walking Dead. Uh, Walking Dead was a show that I was going to start getting some, some of the pops, but... I was like, you know, um, I think maybe I have like four or five of them, and that's about it. So I don't really have anything really rare on those. I just, I think the biggest thing was by the time I got around to start thinking about getting those, there was about 50 of them out, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's a, that's a hill I'm not going to climb. Yeah, yeah, he was on Grey's Anatomy. I remember that, yeah. Gosh, I can't think of his name. Doggone it. And um, Norman Reedus, I, I first heard about him was from Boondock Saints, which I love those movies. Well, the first one I really loved. The second one I liked. The first one I absolutely loved it. That's one of those go-to movies that I, I like. I tell you, I wanted to see the, the lady that plays Maggie when I was in San Diego. If you haven't seen her when she's not on the show, she is, she's about a supermodel. She is stunningly gorgeous. I said I think that you know the closest thing to having a rare uh, pop for them, I've got the uh, and I don't think this is really that rare. It's the uh, Walmart black and white Daryl. That's uh, I think that's about the closest thing to you know a, a rare one that I would have. For Walking Dead. I wish I did. It's one of the things I kind of wish I'd gone back and got some, but I didn't. The pop-up shop. Uh, I'll tell you what. First off, I didn't know where it was. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was driving me crazy. <laughs> um, the pop-up shop. When I was in San Diego, I did not know where it was at. And um, by the time we were actually leaving the con, I was so tired. I was just like, I just want to get on the bus and get back to the hotel. So I never even went over there. But they had a uh, one of the pops that I really, well, two of the pops I really wanted. There's a Daffy Duck in like a Superman outfit. And there's the um, the monster um, Bugs Bunny and, it's not Elmer Fudd. Uh, Bugs and somebody else. I can't think of who it was. And that's another one I really wanted. And I, I never went over there. And... I didn't find out until like Saturday uh, after I got back to the hotel where the thing actually was. And I'm sure if I had gone by then, it would have been all sold out anyway. Yeah, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yep. Bugs Bunny as Superman? I mean, Bugs as Superman. Uh, there's a new comic book that just come out, uh, Bugs Bunny and Superman. But that uh, pop vinyl was uh, Daffy as Superman. Yeah, the comic book. Uh, the one I liked out of those was uh, Batman Elmer Fudd. I thought that was great. When they were in that bar and all the, all the characters were some of the, the characters from from Elmer Fudd and stuff, you know, Falkhorn, Leghorn, and all those guys. That was cracking me up. I thought that was great. Absolutely great. Uh, the the um, the Bugs Bunny Superman one did? Really? So I think uh, one of my local shops actually might still have it sitting over there on the on the shelf. The Elmer Fudd, Batman Elmer Fudd, I love that one. I thought that was so good. Uh, message me, Joker, and uh, we'll see what we can do. 
just message me. Now you can uh, message me on uh, on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll see if we can set something up. What does that say? Hold on, my my vision is getting old. Navy USS America. Okay, because I couldn't read what it said beside your name, TJM. For those who don't know, I have. I'll show you this so you can see. I have my uh, phone set up. I'm recording on my phone, and behind it, I have it on my screen. So that's how I'm actually reading it back there behind him. So that's well, you still couldn't even see it real well there, but yeah. And behind that, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, is all my my uh, video game. There you go. There you go. That's all those back there. If you can see those pretty good. Uh, you might be able to see them. My Arkham. My uh, Arkham figures back there. I've got most of the Arkham. Not all of them. Around here somewhere, I've got a Herman Moore uh, autographed helmet. And he's from Virginia, so he came to uh, one of the high schools. And the high school, they're called the Cavaliers. And so I met him over there. Real nice dude. Real tall dude, too. Man, I, I thought he was going to be a, a Hall of Famer, man. I thought he was so good. I love Smallville the first four seasons. And then I thought it started kind of going downhill after the four, about the fourth or fifth season. I think about the fourth season for me. Kind of started going downhill. Absolutely loved it. Oh, I got a ton of Batman. Huge Batman fan. Huge Harley fan. So I got a ton of that. Like the Pops, I've got, well, there's a few of the Harleys. Right, well, there's Harley right there. Uh, is that all the Harleys I got right there? That is the only Harley I got right there. I'll be darned. Well, I've got just about all the Harleys. And I think all the Batman. Well, not all the Batmans. Uh, there's that um, San Diego Comic Con patina Batman I do not have. Supernatural. That is one I keep hearing about. And I'm going to have to start watching it. But, gosh, right now I've got so much stuff. Yeah, I've got so much stuff I'm trying to watch. And I keep getting ready. Excuse me. little burp. I keep getting ready to start watching it. And something else will come up. And it's on what season? On uh, Netflix. What are they like? Season 10, 11? I'm like, man, that's a, that's a huge undertaking. And uh, after in San Diego, we were at the Arrow um, panel. So I, And after seeing Stephen Amell, which I like Stephen Amell because I'm a WWE fan. And he was he did had a, a couple matches in WWE uh, last year, and I was like, you know what, I'm finally gonna start watching Arrow, and I'm up to episode, I think 14 or 15 in season one. So now I'm stuck on watching that. The Mist, uh, no, I have not seen The Mist. So I got a, you know, I got a ton of stuff to catch up on. Oliver Queen, and if you guys have not seen uh, his pan, uh, the Arrow panel from this year, I, I we got in with about twenty minutes to go, and there's a little girl that came up, and they, at this point there were people were asking questions, and I wish I could have gotten up and asked a question, but there's a little girl there. She um, she has cancer, and she's a, a cancer survivor. She's probably like I don't know, eight, nine, ten years old, and and um. Stephen Amell, he does a thing for cancer awareness, and she was asking if he was going to have another shirt for cancer awareness, and and he's like, come on up here and meet me, and he gave her his necklace he had right on his neck, gave her the necklace, and I, I was I'm not gonna lie, I was about tearing up, I'm not going to lie. Stephen Amell, one heck of a good dude, one heck of a good dude, so I thought that was pretty awesome. So I wanted to go to the iZombie panel, but we didn't get to go to that. Huge fan of iZombie. I mean, to me, uh, Stephen Amell, he's the kind of celebrity that I think I would I would want to be. You know, somebody that tries to give back to people. Because I know a lot of celebrities, they are 
They are really not the most decent of humans. But I, Zombie, I live more. I really want to meet her. That'd be awesome. Now, I will say this. The comic books, really not a lot like the TV show. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll be at Comic-Con doing a panel myself. That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool. The Charmed Ladies? Yes. Yes. Uh, Alyssa Milano, for those who don't know, she's not ugly. Not ugly at all. I do have a couple of the comics. That's about it. I actually uh, started watching those again not too long ago. Piper. Uh, Shannon Doherty. Uh, I've heard she's not exactly the nicest human being on Earth. Even though I will say this, I'm a huge fan of mall rats. So there you go. I thought she was good in mall rats. Uh, Piper, is that, um, was that Alyssa Milano's character's name? I can't remember which, who was who on there. Because, um, golly, what is that, uh, the one girl's name? Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank on her name too. Um, Combs, something Combs, Holly Marie Combs. It was Holly Marie Combs' character, wasn't it? Take care, Joker. Take care, man. Thanks for uh, coming out and hanging with us, man. We appreciate it. Piper, it was Holly Marie Combs, I believe. I can't remember who was who. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Yeah, I, I, I really remember Holly Marie Combs because her dad was the host of um, Family Feud for a while. And from I recall, I believe he committed suicide a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh, is 8.15? Who was the brunette? Wow, you know, it's funny. No one can ever remember that. I'm uh, The one that took Shannon Doherty's place, right? Um It's funny, I can never remember her name, and somebody was, uh, we were talking about this one day, and somebody said, oh, it was so-and-so, and I can't remember who it was to save my life. Man. I have no idea what her name is. I didn't like her too much. I wasn't a big fan of hers. Um, I can't, I cannot remember her name, but I, I'll tell you a show with, with, Ma a movie with magic in it, the, um, oh, what was that? Oh, Wow. Had Nev Campbell in it. Um, the Craft. I think it was The Craft. I watched that not too long ago. I still like that movie. It had that one girl who's got a really weird face. But with something about it, I always find her really, really attractive. It's like her mouth is almost too big. <laughs> Nev Campbell, she was always uh, very pretty as well. Paige. Page, WWE page? <laughs> Who will probably never be in WWE again? She's been on a contract a long time to not be doing anything. Except touring the uh, world with her uh, abusive husband, or boyfriend. I shouldn't say that because I don't know them personally. Let's see. It is what man. I've been on for almost an hour and twenty minutes. Okay, guys. I'm going. I didn't realize I'd been on for that long. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to take off so I can go watch a few things here and there. Rose McGowan. That's the one. That is her. Thank you. Cause I, I, I honestly, when I left, I was gonna go look that up. Rose McGowan. I don't know why. I never thought she was real attractive. Not ugly. Not huge attractive. You know, that's what, it's funny. Uh, I, we were talking about this one day. Uh, back when we were younger, uh, we could remember anything. I remember I had probably 50 people's phone numbers in my head. Now I don't have a single one. I can remember my number, but I can't remember anybody else's. 
And I mean, back in the day, I'd have like like fifty numbers in my head, like it was nothing. And man, yeah, you know, having everything that right at my fingertips has made me my my brain die. Yep, definitely getting older and better. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, I've been on for like an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, I appreciate you being on with me again. Uh, follow us on uh. Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. Like I say, just set up the Instagram account. And uh, later on, I'm going to put uh, links below for it, all of that stuff. And what else was I going to tell you? Um, uh, something else. Something else I was going to tell you. Tomorrow, not tomorrow night, Wednesday night at around 9 o'clock, we will have our weekly podcast. And as of now, uh, we're not sure what we're talking about. I know we've got a couple comics to talk about. Uh, Troy did not get to go to the... Uh, to the con with us so i'm sure he's gonna have plenty of questions for us for that for me and peasy and you know i'm sure we'll talk about conor mcgregor and um what's his face uh uh floyd mayweather this previous ufc that just happened this past weekend i'm sure we'll discuss that some but uh definitely check us out every just about every wednesday night at approximately nine o'clock uh, as long as our internet and everything works well, because sometimes, you know, technical problems happen. But uh, that's all I got, guys. And thank you so much for hanging out with me for the last hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> thank you, guys. And you guys have an incredible day.